okay hello guys um welcome back to my channel i was um just thinking about something the pastor was saying on sunday and i just said let me just um, let me just share my thoughts with us now he was saying something of course this also was a fallout from uh, shiloh uh, 2022 covenant highways when bishop said something about everybody run away and that you better be sure god wants you to no, my, my own answer has always been this, that really, if people did not develop their countries, yeah, we may even say the Europeans, they came to steal um, things from Africa. Uh, of course, the worst part of the thing they stole was the mind of the people, because what I found to, do, to find, to, I mean, what I find that the most um, terrible thing that has happened to us as Africans is, uh, is, is, is self-hate. Hey, sincerely, I don't have that problem. Okay, sincerely, I'm keeping my skin. I'm, I thank God for how God created me and all of that and all of that. But um, what I'm saying is this: that that has been the major problem. Why? I remember when I was a much younger person. The, the first time this thing happened in this country in the early '80s, and everybody was um, doing japa. <laughs> everybody is that time. The the you talk told me about Andrew. <laughs> that was an advert or something like that about Andrew checking out okay we used to call it check out and all of that too and the young man that we're just talking anyway he's older than me uh, but he was a young person then I was a child I think I was a teenager and we we're just talking and we said ah you'd rather be picking apple okay I think they say when you pick up and leave once you have any different currency and the and the naira is not really as terrible as it is today because i don't even know what you would say in between now and we have kind of things that people do when they go to the western um, hemisphere um in the name of what they do the job or whatever thing just to make money now it's not going to be somebody that picking up there um than to remain in nigeria and i told him i said i would rather get my education um, be a citizen of my country than to go and be something else in another person's country. So, the point I'm making is, is that really, if we sit down and think about it, many people have seen some video people say, Oh, they, this is what they did tell you before you came, this, that, and another one. I don't really know what people expect. When you go to another country, another person's country with the intention of, uh, of uh, staying there. I don't know how you feel you ever really fit in. I don't know. Like the case is uh, the case that I've been on the, the uh, racism in the royal family. The person asking somebody that uh, is a Briton born there, asking where were you really from? Where are you really from? I think that was what I said I read in the street media and all that. But the point for me is this. If you run away from your country, so who are you leaving it for? Now, let's assume you can move your immediate family. Um, can you move your extended family? Can you move your aunties, your uncles, your cousins, everybody related to you by block? Can you remove all of them? I mean, if that is possible, and then you locate another person's country, if that is possible, then how well and good. But the truth is, this you, your root must always, always be here. You were born here, you must be related to somebody, and that is just the truth of the matter. So, it's good to go. It's good if you have the opportunity and you feel comfortable about it. I don't like the weather, I don't like the environment, so maybe I and it's funny Nepal has struck again or PHC or you know, whatever is their name now. And that many years I was as long as I, <coughs> I can remember I was doing up Nepal and we are still here doing that. But then I still love my country, I still feel comfortable in my country, I still feel that I, I can be free, I can express myself. As terrible as things seem to be now, I am not a slave in my country. And I think for me, that is, that, that's a good thing. Yes, our leaders have failed us, they have done bad, but why can't we stay here and just try and save our country? This is our country. That is the truth of the matter. You may get dual citizenship or triple citizenship or whatever name it is called, but the truth is this. This is where you were born. This is where you were born. And because of that, I think you you, you should think there is no way that even even as um as an African, you see somebody that looks like you, 
you 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 i mean it's something that look, look like you 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 just uh, somebody looks like you and, and you just feel like this person i don't like the way this person is being treated i have made a video and i said i didn't really understand the problem of race in america until the George Floyd things and i had to be watching on youtube and be reading i didn't understand it because i remember once at future airport then i was coming from malaysia and i came the i don't know what they call them the immigration guy after i look at my passport he asked me where would i be going after that i said my country of course where do you where else do you want me to, to go after i finish in the uk where do you want me to go i'll be going back to my country of course like finally the guy has not heard such things and i didn't have to be illustrating because i am not planning to come and stay in their country so i i needed a break i needed to have some break from my family i needed to just have the holiday to just be by myself that was just the only reason i actually went there I need to stay with a relative of my husband's and then just have a time alone, just some space to myself. Even though I still ended up working, 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 also with the time with my laptop and all of that. But I just needed that make to change of environment. That was the only reason I went there. And I, just, I don't know when he asked me that question. Probably he had never heard that kind of answer. So, but that is not the 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 other part of the story. Now, the cool part of the story is, is, as I was about to leave, a young woman, whether police, whether she's also immigration, I don't know what she is, she was just coming like coming to stop me. And I was looking at her with Askans and wondering, what? So the guy that told her, you should let me go and all of that. I was like, what do you guys think you have here? With this your horrible weather. Anyway, I didn't even know if the weather was that horrible then until I stayed. And I stayed in the autumn and every day irritating rain. I was I was pissed off. I was seriously pissed off. Yes, Lagos can be almost that bad as it is. Lagos is still better than that place. I can assure you of that. Lagos can really get on your nerves too. But that place, the rain, it was just drizzling, irritating you. At least the rain in Lagos will fall. You can go and do other things. It's only on rare days that you have the rain that will just keep you indoors all days. And of course, negotiations don't stay indoors because you must still go and do your business. So if you want to eat, we don't have social security in Nigeria. So you have to go out and get what your family eats. But for me, I didn't really see something so spectacular. Yes, the light, I was there throughout the time. The light never blinked. Awesome. There was water also. I could take a bus. I could just walk from the house of my son. I was saying, just walk in like five minutes, go and take a bus, go to town, then take a bus and come back. Also, because I like my life here. This is my country. So I rather do everything I can to make it work. What about you? The spirit of Japan are taking you over. Okay, good. I saw somebody excited and sharing on social media. Oh, she's seeing snow for the first time. Oh, come and see snow. Oh, she's seeing ah white Christmas. I said Christmas has not even come. She's already seeing white Christmas because there was snow. Of course, this is the season of snow here, of snow there. So it's winter. But I still love my country. I still love being a Nigerian. Or whatever we end up becoming. <laughs> It depends on how we handle ourselves. We have another opportunity. We can use our bullet to change the narrative. It depends on you and I. What are you going to do about it? You have another opportunity. Some of you say, oh, because the vote does not count, so they will not come out. For God's sake, your vote does not count because you did not come out. Because when you did not come out now to vote, and uh, like some of these analysis, the space that you have all those people that are not vote now, they, they can be manipulated. But if you have voted and it could be seen, nobody can man manipulate it. Then why can't we just come together as the one man and demand what we want our country to be like? Or we parents, when Asu was on strike and was struggling to save public universities, we were thinking it was Asu's problem. And for me, when, and now I did, I did another video, I did a post and I said, 
for me, there's no need also going on strike. The, co the government has tried to destroy public university. Let it be destroyed. The, what they forget is that the brains are going. But we will stay and save this country. You and I, if we make up our minds, we can save our country. I'm telling you, we can save our country. We can. But we have to make up our mind that we want a better country. It has happened before, it can happen again. But what the politicians are exploiting is that by then they tell you, you vote for a Yoruba person, or you vote for a Hausa person, you vote for a Muslim, or you vote for a Christian, or you vote for a Hebrew person. If that is the reason you are voting, you are not ready. But if you are looking at who can make a threat, who has this thing upstairs, who has the, the track record, all the ability. You know, I think I was doing it again when I, somebody was posting that, oh, the South Sudan president or whatever leader was a unit on himself when he was this. I don't know whether that is true, I don't know. But I just saw that comment that somebody made that people should be careful by taking a healthy leader, not somebody that will be, be, be visiting and that will be doing the leaders for. I don't know whether there is such a word. Is it? I know. That was smart. I think one of the things that these elderly people say in the name of English. But the truth is that. We can change our narrative in this country, but the choice is, is by you and I. It is you and I that can make that difference. We can. Yes, I'm borrowing Obama's slogan. We can. But the choice is for us to make. Thank you very much for watching this video. Let's take action. Don't forget. Like, I did always say, I want you to plasma TV. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, you hit the notification button so that by the time I am doing, I am uploading on that video, then you can see it. So you can share it. If you feel like me, comment in below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you guys think about what I've said. Japa is not always the answer. God bless you guys. See you in the next video.